Say hello to the bad guy, Scott Hall, and I've got a scoop for you. And we all know there's a lot of podcasts out there, but I encourage you to check out this one. It's called Going In Raw. You heard it here first. Going In Raw. Hey, friendo, Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to Going In Raw News Brief. We're going to try to keep this one brief today, Larson, but there's been some more developments on WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. I'm uh, coming you to you live your... from Titan Towers. Oh, that's right. Larson putting his body at risk for all of us here who are homebound. He has gotten special, special permission from all the way up top. He's got the most permission to go wherever don't, he wants. Don't, don't. Just to bring us. I don't want to hear that voice. On the ground news. Uh, he's at Titan Towers right now. Bravo. Bravo. That's correct, Steve. Yes, here I am at Titan Towers. <laughs> Definitely not my bedroom. Titan Towers. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, here. Titan Towers. <laughs> Titan Towers. So, uh, first in the news, this comes from Post Wrestling. Uh, WWE is about to undertake a massive set of tapings during the next week or so, which could potentially include taping WrestleMania itself, is what Post Wrestling has to say. Quote, as of Thursday, the company will be taping the remaining episodes of Friday Night SmackDown and Raw leading into WrestleMania. One source we spoke with indicated that they're expecting both WrestleMania shows be taped over the next week as well. Uh, another was unsure if that was the case. We have reached out to WB regarding the proposed tapings and whether WrestleMania will be taped in advance. Report continues. The upcoming taping schedule would include the March 23rd and March 30th editions of Raw, the March 27th and April 3rd editions of SmackDown, and possibly the two WrestleMania shows. Uh, one source with knowledge of the situation tells Post Wrestling that the only changes to the WrestleMania card of the elimination of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and the Women's Battle Royal, the other matches are set to go ahead and be spread out over the two nights with some yet-to-be-announced matches on television. Uh, one more thing before we talk in more detail about this. Russell Vote, seemingly confirming post-wrestling's report, tweeted, quote, The rumor regarding WB taping shows every day for a week straight starting tomorrow is very much true. Goes to show you, much like AEW, they are unsure how long they'll be able to do this. WWE is trying to get as much in as possible, it seems. Yeah, so this is not a, a huge surprise. No. Uh, just taping as much content as they possibly can. Uh, and, like right uh, now, I don't believe Florida has a shelter in place uh, order like we do here in California. Uh, we're only supposed to leave the house in case, for us, like only if we need groceries or gas or something. Otherwise, we got to stay put. I went for a walk today. That is allowed. You you can do that. Hiking and walking, exercise stuff is allowed. You just can't be within six feet of somebody. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty quiet out there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now this isn't this isn't terribly surprising. And like yeah, like you said, I mean, if you read, especially if you read uh, the newsletter, which we were just doing, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Mm -hmm. You know, the caveat is seemingly at the end of every single paragraph, sometimes each sentence, and it is things are changing day to day, and that's why they're doing this because at any moment. You know, the, the big headline on CNN right now is one in five Americans told us or uh, yeah, one in five Americans told to stay at home yeah. because uh, th that could change at any time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you don't want to plan to go live with WrestleMania on April 5th. And then uh, between now and then have the state of Florida say, mm -mm, don't leave your house. Yeah. Pretty then much. WrestleMania is off. Yep. Yeah. So anyways, what can we expect from this possibly seemingly Pre-taped yeah. WrestleMania. Fightful Select. Go check them out. Go subscribe. Go subscribe. May have some answer as they're reporting that a source tells them that WWE has, quote, some really cool things planned. Well, cool for the situation we're in, at least. It's not something we want to have to do, but it's where we are. Don't expect this to be like the first Raw or SmackDown you saw from the Performance Center. Based on what I was told, this will be outside the box. Uh, and then Wrestling Observer Newsletter has some additional details about WrestleMania. From what we're told, the primary location both nights will be the Performance Center, but there will be a few gimmick matches shot on different locations outside those walls as of 317, but that was also subject to change by the next day. The multiple locations is to allow a number of people to be there while not exceeding 50 people in any location. What we learned this past week is a few people in the crowd is umpteen times better than none, and you could use people such as talent or other company workers, even if it's 10 to 15, and it helps. I'll, I'll say the caveat there is... The great thing about AEW, the way they did it, is that all their workers being out there was storyline motivated. If you yeah. have, if you have, because their characters crisscross so much within their stories, if you have a bunch of randos, like 10 or 15 people out there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like you just drew 15 people. 
I know, and I could see Vince looking at that. It's like, oh, this makes WrestleMania look so small. Which is true. Which is it totally does. true. I think I'd rather have nobody. It's like if you just if you just take the chairs out and do something cool with the background, yeah, to to bring some spectacle to even the performance center anywhere, it'll make the show look larger than a bunch of empty chairs, much less uh, a bunch of empty chairs minus ten to fifteen filled by random people. Yeah, totally. And I, I do think though that this might speak to what we've talked about in the past in terms of. Uh, you know, obviously different locations will help mix it up a little bit. Film it a different way. I mean, I wonder mm-hmm. if the fact that they're pre-taping these means that they're going to be doing some very clever editing. Maybe they'll make this look. I mean, look, I think this might be too outside the box, but this dude said outside the box. So I, I'm just sort of throwing things out there. What if they're going <laughs> to what, what if they're going to do this? to make each one look cinematic. What if they film it like, <laughs> like a Rocky boxing match or something? Oh, maybe, you know, yeah. you know, maybe I mean, that. you know, I... you know what they could do. Look, here's the thing. It's movies. If you have, if you have, I mean, look what I'm, I'm here. I'm here at Titan towers. <laughs> I know. And this is, that's nothing that costs you nothing. Exactly. So like, I don't know. What, what if you do? It's got all uh, my hand here, Steve. Yeah, I know. Oh, You're oh, phasing gosh. in and out. That t- it's that transporter technology. We're still working on it. Yeah. So I don't know, man, like you can get, you get like, you know, some, uh, some, some of your talent, some of your workers that are there already, give them some of those masks, like the drive guy wore and drive uh-huh. and then have them like in one shot behind the action. Yeah. 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 Cheering on. And then set up your other shot and put them behind there. That's how they do it. In movie world, man. They, 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 they have your movie. extras in one spot. You, you do your, your angles from there and you have them move to the other side and do your angles from there. It's all the same extras. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But if you're looking to watch WrestleMania and not have it be at the Performance Center, uh, and you don't have WWE Network, you have an option because uh, ESPN is showing WrestleManias mm-hmm, of yeah. past. Uh, so Variety reported today that ESPN will be, quote, for three Sundays, uh, the Disney-owned sports media giant will air classic WrestleMania events on its flagship cable network and stream them on its mobile app. Uh, the initiative commences this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern when ESPN airs WrestleMania 30 uh, from April 2014. Uh, report continues. ESPN is working to fill its schedule with unorthodox content uh, in the wake of the nation's obvious uh, outbreak, uh, which has put a stranglehold in all kinds of communal gatherings, including sports events. So the the list, I don't see it here on this Variety uh, article about uh, the the arrangement but it was 30 31 32 is that what it was it was uh one of them was 35 i i doubt that they would do 32 because it was kind of a crap fest but i have it right here it's espn pr here it is yeah it's 30 no 32 is on the list uh it was 30 which is march 22nd 32 which is march 29th and then man they should really go with 31 31 was great yeah, 31 is a fun show. And 35 uh, last year's. Uh, However, be... 32 had Roman main eventing, and if he's going to be in a prominent role in this upcoming WrestleMania, makes uh, sense why they'd have that Roman one. main event in 31, too? He lost. Yeah, he lost, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. Man, I was about to I was about to show how the power... Let's see, where is this? Show and folder. What? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyways... <laughs> I, I want to get this done. Hold on a second. There we go. Look at that. See, there, I got my crowd right there. Time to put on some boxing matches. There you go. There you go. That <laughs> uh, took me away. Oh! <laughs> I, where's none? There's none. There's none. I had Bernie sneaking up behind me. <laughs> Billionaires. <laughs> Billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> oh man anyways next story uh what are we talking wait where's oh, i got my freaking notes here come on man i know i gotta get with it uh here we go oh, okay what are we talking about now are we talking about marty Skrull now yes marty Skrull. all right no no segue there marty Skrull. he talks re-signing with ring of honor and he talks uh maybe why he didn't sign with AEW, like a lot of people maybe expected him to do he said this he had an interview with our the, good yeah, friend who was over at wrestle talk ta- what Nothing. Go ahead. You got to the quotes without mentioning where it's from. I was making sure we, we got that I in wasn't there, there yet. Doesn't relax. Great. It's okay. He did an interview with our friendos over at Wrestle Talk, where he was asked about his decision with uh, to resign with Ring of Honor. His response is this. I'm sure most people expect, and I'm not going to do his accent. I'm sure most people expect me to go to AEW. And of course, Matt and Nick are two of my best friends in the whole entire world. I love them. And I love what they are doing. I'm very proud of them. When it came to my decision, though, 
I, like them, had my own vision, my own dreams. And the opportunity to create a promotion in my own vision was something I always wanted and couldn't turn down. I've been wrestling for a long time and it was time to do something new and set a new challenge for myself. Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor has always been amazing to me and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be more involved. They have the trust in me and it really gives me the chance to be creative, which I've always enjoyed more than anything. I have great relationships with Tony, Cody, and Kenny. And it's cool that we're all doing our own thing and making a splash in the wrestling world. I do wonder though, I can almost guarantee this man, if his contract was up at the same time as those other guys, chances are he'd totally be AEW at this point, man. Probably. Because um, I wonder if, if part of it too was Ring of Honor in the what six or so months after AEW was was born, uh, found themselves in a, a serious uh, uh, doldrum in terms of creative, uh, a talent deficit in relation to their competitors. Uh, they were kind of forced in a position where they had to throw basically everything at Marty to keep him to stay. Yeah, they're anyway. in a tight spot right there, and, and that seemingly is what they did. I mean, apparently they threw a ton at Matt Taven also. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, but they gave Marty the book, and uh, and yeah, he's he's using the opportunity to establish, to make his own mark on the on the world. He's probably inspired by his friends, and uh, good for him. That's great. Uh, yes. You know, I mean, there, there's been, you know... it. Impact, I think, kind of proved that you can you can turn things around, man. I think that the, the stink of Impact, by and large, is, is is gone. They're doing some some interesting stuff. Uh, you can turn a promotion around. Ring of Honor hasn't had; they didn't have the best 2019, of course. Uh, but uh, you know, I hear some positive vibes coming out from what they're doing right now. Yeah. So and, and, you know, uh, if so you look that. at it this way, if if 2019 was was pretty bad, in theory, the only place you can go is up. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So that's good. Anyway. I'm going to get back to cutting 10 for the win. Uh, thanks, good. everybody, for tuning in. 10 for the win, right there. Friendomerch.com. Yep. Go check it out. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll be back tonight for our SmackDown review. Correct. And uh, that should be fun. And then tomorrow we'll be back with probably another Oof. news brief. And what? Whoa, wait a second. What What the heck? The, the news brief is over. I came back home. No, but it's not done yet, man. Oh. It's not done yet. Jeez. Got to keep right. kayfabe alive. Keep it alive. Millionaires Sorry. and billionaires. Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> thanks, everybody. I'm going to have lunch with Bernie. Thanks, everybody. Uh, <laughs> until next time. This is <laughs> Oh, you got Aerostar. Ah! Until oh, next God. time. We'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>